Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen here and I didn't even do an introduction. We're just going to jump right in to making our soap today and what I've got going here I'm making freedom bars and it's going to be a two-step process today. I'm going to pour one loaf mold here with my red and white stripes and then we're going to cut diagonal tomorrow and pour the next layer and um, so this will be a two-day process. So today is the first layer and let me show you what I've got over here. I have all my oils and lye split off into five equal containers and I already have in here because I wanted it in everything I already have my uh, fragrance oil and my organic colloidal oats and my kale and clay it's mixed in uh, I also am using the scent today is from crafters choice it's called 50 shades but never mind all that it just smells really good I think it's a really nice unisex sort of um, musky with a little bit of citrus scent it's a great scent so that's what I'm putting in here today I have titanium dioxide dispersed in some water for my white stripes and I have a crafters choice matte Americana red oxide is what's going to be my red stripes and I have that dispersed here too so I'm going to mix each layer at a time because I want them real, you know, pretty crisp. I want nice crisp lines between. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Our first bottom layer is going to be a red layer. So I'm going to pour a third of this in here into my oils. We'll mix my lye in and we'll get it in the pot and we'll get going. Okay, layer number one is firmed up enough where I'm comfortable moving on with my next layer. So I've got my titanium dioxide. I'm just going to put a little dollop in here to give it a nice bright white color. Okay, I'm going to spray this off with my 91% rubbing alcohol and I'm going to put a blanket over this and let it go through gel phase tonight and tomorrow we'll come back unmold it and cut it on the diagonal and move on to our next step all right we're back the next morning and we're going to unmold our red and white stripes here it got very hot 
and when I op um, covered it to go through gel phase and it raised up a little so I'm going to plane that off after we get it out of the mold. Alright, so what I have here is a cake leveler. I got it on Amazon. It's just a little thin wire um, and I'm going to use that to pull down and go diagonal and I've got to go real slow and make sure I try to stay on the corners as best I can here. So we've got it lined up and uh, it's just a very slow process. If you have two people to do it, it's even better so you can watch each side as you go, but you can do it yourself if you just go very slowly. Let's split it apart and see. It's a little wiggly, but not bad. So there's our slice. Okay, so what I've done is, now that I've got these all in the molds, I have a damp paper towel that I'm just going to lay on top here to keep them, I want them to stay moist until I get the top layer set because I want the two layers to adhere really well together. So that's just going to keep the moisture in and let it not dry out while I get the top layer going. Alright, I've got my oils for my blue portion of the Freedom Bars and I wanted to show you my little picture here. So this is sort of just a rough concept of the red, red and white stripes. I'm going to do a blue uh, in the pot, swirl with some white, and then do some blue stars on top. So that's what we're going for. So here's my oils for the blue portion and I'm going to go ahead and add in my colloidal oats and my kale and clay and my crafter's choice 50 shades scent. Alright, everything's cooled off and ready to go for the top layer of my freedom bars. And uh, let me show you the blue that I'm using. It's from Brambleberry. It's an ultra blue, ultramarine blue pigment. Um, it's an oxide and it's a really bright blue. <laughs> I've dispersed it here in a little bit of the oils. Um, it should be really beautiful. And then I do have my titanium dioxide dispersed in some water here. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to make these bars is, of course, my husband is a retired Marine. Uh, my son, one of my sons, is a Coast Guard diver. Uh, my other son's a paramedic. My son-in-law is a police officer. And uh, I was just thinking about all the people that put their lives on the line to protect us and uh, that's kind of what made me think of doing this bar. So all that being said, I'm going to be hand stirring um, because there's a, hard, a high content of hard oils in this recipe I'm using today. So I'm going to hand stir so that I hopefully will have some time to do a nice in the pot swirl for our top layers here. I'll go ahead and pour my lye solution that does have Tussa silk fibers and uh, yeah, I didn't put sodium lactate in this time, so just toss the silk fibers. So that's what we have going on here. So that looks good. We'll go ahead and pour off our white portion. Nice amount there. Okay. So here comes our gorgeous ultramarine blue. It's, uh, and it says on the bottle that it's true to the color. So, there we go. I'll hand stir that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a lovely color. And let's get in a little titanium dioxide here. A nice bright white. Hand stir that get my paper towels out of here that have been keeping my bottom layer nice and moist so that this will adhere to it. And I might just do a teeny bit of stick blending here. Just a little. We'll 
come over here to our blue. Oops, I dripped. <laughs> That's going to be all I'll do on there. Clean up my drips and we're going to do an in the pot swirl here. So we'll just zhuzh it around. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, make sure these are down in there all the way. And we will go ahead and pour our blue portion. I'm not going to worry about this little teeny bit of red poking out because that's going to get piping on it. Um, so that'll be good. Let me just clean up the molds here and let this set up for a minute while I get my soap frosting ready and we will come back and pipe on the tops. All right, I've got my soap frosting oils and lye with titanium dioxide in it because I want the bulk of it to be white. And I have my blue oxide in my red that I'm going to just pipe down some stripes in the piping bag. And my piping tip today is a Wilton number one. It's a star. So that's what I'm using. I'm going to try and create some stars. And you all are coming along with me on my first time trying to do this kind of piping. I did piping once before, but um, I'm re relatively new at this. So uh, we're going to do this together here for the first time. So. We'll go ahead and get this all mixed together and get going on the piping. I hope it turns out good. All right, this is uh, still just a teeny bit too runny, so I'm just waiting for this to set up before I put it in my piping bag. ready to go here. I made a little bit of a mess, but I think we can work with it. So my intention is to do stars down here. There we go. A little bit of the red and blue is coming through.
just to make it sparkle shine just a little. Spray with my rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna let these go through gel phase and we will come back for the cut tomorrow. I'm excited to see how these came out.